Courtney, students here made hundreds of these ceramic bowls to raise money for a shelter that houses those who are victims of abuse. It's a big deal having money raised for it, getting it to be supported and have other people support it too. 100% of the money raised from all these bowls will be going to the River House Shelter in Grayling, a cause that students and staff are on board with. The main goal is to raise awareness of this is, this is an epidemic in, in America. Uh, abuse, spousal abuse, family abuse, children abuse. Many people gloss over the fact that, the, that violent, domestic violence is real. And they don't really, if, if a woman's, you know, in pain that they can't tell. And people just, they just brush it off. They don't think it's real. So for them to have somewhere to go and to feel safe, it's, it's probably, it's one of the best things. The bowls are intended to be symbolic as a reminder of the needs people have in their community. When they realize that, that they are making something that could be filled to be able to provide for someone, that wakes them up to the reality around them that Northern Michigan does have people that need help and they can uh, be a benefit and help these people as well. Last year, students made more than $2,000 for the shelter and this year hope to make even more. I guarantee you that it's going to be a relief off their shoulders, especially for ones who are uh, either having a pregnancy or a child or stuff like that and ones who have to deal with the hardest and toughest decisions. I myself has been, been through that stuff growing up. A lot of these people have been through this in some way or form. So. They want to give back. They want to help out. There will also be soup and bread served throughout the night, along with a display of students' artwork from this past semester. In Roscommon County, Charlie Lapastora for Up North Live News on ABC 29 and 8.